So this video is all about the HDMI cable tester by UniT. Now forgive me if I'm wrong but I think this looks very much like Hilti packaging but it's not made by Hilti. So um, someone's decided to use the Hilti colours and Hilti font. But anyway this is the UT681 HDMI. I got this off Amazon. There'll be a link in the description. And I got this because I have a customer who has some HDMI cables that he wants testing. So we open up the packaging here and this tester comes in two parts, the receiver end and the transmitter end and they just slot together so you can just simply unslot them by sliding them like that and the switch here, uh, the button you just press that to power it on and then what it will do is when you plug a HDMI cable in there it will go through the whole sequence um, and you basically plug one end in this into the transmitter the other end of the cable into the receiver and it should match so it should go through the sequence just like the um, telephone cable testers that you've probably seen before and you just make sure that the sequence is correct, that there's no breaks in the cable, etc. And what's quite interesting, if you're in, if you're into all this kind of thing, is that there's actually um, each core of the cable has a description of what it does. So you've got clock, CEC, SDA. You know, I don't know what a lot of these mean. Even hot plug, shield, data one, data zero. There's loads. Um, so it's quite interesting to know what each core of the HDMI cable does. And this will work with HDMI Mini as well. So if you do have a HDMI mini cable that you want to test, then you use this end and this socket here, and you can test a HDMI mini, but obviously it's mainly designed for the HDMI standard cables. Uh, it does need batteries, and it doesn't come with batteries, so this is the battery cover, and you just undo this little screw here, and you put a 9 volt, one of those rectangular batteries in there. It won't work if you don't put the battery in, so you do have to buy a battery, it doesn't come with it. Um, so I'll do a little demonstration of this now and then you can check out the link in the description if you want to get one yourself. So I've got here a Lab Gear Premium HDMI cable straight out of the packet so we know that it's intact. I'm just going to use this as a test cable. So we detach these two parts, turn this one on, we plug in our HDMI cable one end in there and then the other end we plug in here and you can see there as soon as you've got end to end continuity it lights up both sides. If you press that again then it will switch through all the various cores so they are synchronous there they're both lighting up at the same time which means that everything is all good and that one just lights up all of them so that you know that there's none missing there aren't any breaks in any of them so that's quite handy if we do a little demonstration just cut this So I've just done, done a little cut in it now, and um, one of those cores actually. What I've done now is actually properly cut through, and one of the cores has been sliced, and as you can see, it gets to seven and it jumps. So if I press that, you can see seven is not lit up now, because of my having cut through core number seven, it's obviously broken continuity in that. And if I do another little cut, uh, so I've broken a couple more now, look, number 10 and number 3 has cut out. So if we press this, when it gets to 3 it skips over, when it gets to 7 it skips over, 8, 9, 11, and then it goes through all of them. So uh, that just shows you how it works. So if it skips over a light or when you press it, if the light just doesn't light up, that means that there's a break in the continuity of that particular core 
and obviously the cable will need, need repairing because basically it's damaged and um, so it will need to be repaired or replaced but if all of them light up then it's all good you've got a good cable so I hope this video has been of benefit to you if it has hit the like button share the video out to other people who might benefit from it and if you haven't done so already subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell then you'll get regular video updates you won't miss out on a video because I post here tool videos regularly every week and I've got an Amazon shop where you'll find a link in the description for this product and also many other tools that I like and enjoy using on a regular basis. So check that shop out and I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and have a great day.